This tutorial will show you how to make a leaderboard. As players are added to the list, it will automatically update. Player prefs will be used. This way the list will be saved even when the game is turned off. Create a new script for the leaderboard. Include UnityEngine.UI if necessary. Before getting to the main class, create another class. It will be used to hold the name and score. This example uses input fields to collect data, but you can use another source. Include a list. Initialize the list and call the load leaderboard method. This method will be explained later. The submit button creates a player info object using the name and score from the input fields. It then adds the object to the end of the list. Finally, the sort stats method is called. In the sort stats method, the loop starts at the end of the list, where the most recent object was added. If it is higher than the score above it, they swap positions. This continues until it can't go any higher. Next, call the update player pref string method. Now that the leaderboard list is organized, it can be saved to the player prefs. Start with a blank string. As you loop through the list, add the name and score to the string. Include a comma at the end of each one. This will be used to separate them later. Once the string is complete, set the player pref leaderboard to be equal to the string. Now the on-screen leaderboard can be updated. Start with the blank string. Simply loop through the list and add the name and score to the display text. The load leaderboard method will retrieve the string containing the leaderboard from player prefs. Once the string is retrieved, turn it into an array by splitting it at the comma. Now loop through the array, each time collecting the name and score. The name and score are used to create player info objects, which are then added to the list. The player press delete all method can be used to clear the leaderboard entries. If you're using input fields, be sure to drag them over. That's all you need to create a leaderboard. A link to the code is in the description. Thanks for watching.